I'm a speech and language therapist who works with children and young people. And I'm making this video today to chat to you about an approach which is called intensive interaction. And this is an approach that's often used with children and young people who are working on those early communication skills. So this video is for you if you work with kids either in nursery or school or out in the community or if you're the parent or carer of a child. Intensive interaction is a really simple approach for spending time with a child or young person who's working on those early communication skills. So we're thinking about things like being aware of someone else in an interaction, that turn taking that we develop in an interaction, and then also the enjoyment of spending time with someone. So we often recommend trying intensive interaction with children or young people who are maybe autistic, who perhaps have a learning disability or any other communication difference. It's just really good for those um, wee ones who are working on those early communication skills. And there are loads of benefits to trying intensive interaction. So things like it can help build up that relationship with a child or young person, especially if they're new in your nursery or school. It can help them feel safe and secure within an interaction. Um, so maybe helping them to feel a bit more relaxed in those social interactions that we have day to day. And it can also be really, really child-led. So it sees that child as an individual. And of course, we're working on those early communication skills, like I've mentioned, being aware of others, turn-taking, and bringing a bit of joy into spending time with other people. All right, so how do we do intensive interaction? Well, our first step is standing back and watching what is the child interested in? This is a child-led part of intensive interaction. So we're going to let our adult agenda go to the side for now. That can be for another time. We're going to watch what the child is interested in. And that might be a specific toy or area of the um, nursery room or the classroom that they really like. Or perhaps it's something that's unconventional, maybe something like a specific bit of movement that they're um, repeating over and over again that they're enjoying or maybe some exploration with noise or singing. So once we've got what the child is interested in, we are going to get in close and get involved. So get down face to face if you can, if you can, side by side is fab too. And we're going to just be there with the child in their space. And now we're going to copy what the child was doing. So whatever that activity is that you've observed, can you get involved? And even if that is beside the child, so if they're building a tower, can you sit with them and build a tower, your own tower next to them? If they are doing a bit of movement, can you copy that movement? If they're singing, can you copy that singing? And now we're going to watch and see the child's response. So we might see that they either look to kind of push us away or maybe they are pausing and looking at us and maybe giving us a smile. So any of this non-verbal or verbal communication is fantastic. We can pause, we can start again and see if we can build in a bit more novelty to the interaction. So can we do something that's unexpected and see what the child does? So maybe that is knocking your tower over or maybe that is singing a different song or maybe that's introducing stop to the movement and then go and then doing the movement again. And just see how the child responds and see if you can start to build in that little bit of interest and that little bit of turn taking within the interaction. Of course, if the child is unhappy with you being there, then you can abandon intensive interaction for today and maybe come back to it another time. And so that is our whistle stop tour of this lovely, simple approach to spending time with those wee ones that are working on those early communication skills. So if you need any further information or any support with this, any questions, please get in touch with your speech and language therapist. 
But otherwise, give it a go. Let us know how you get on. And thanks for watching the video today. Bye-bye. See ya.